once was a man named Gold Roger, who was king of the pirates. He had fame, power, and wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Before they hung him from the gallows, these were the final words he said. My one piece monkey. Yours for the taking, but you'll have to find it first. I left everything I own in Here it is guys. So it's what we've been waiting for. I'm gonna zoom out just a tiny bit. Uh, my face camera died, but luckily we got the quick little inter er, not interview intro in here. Um, this is exactly what it reads. This is the first printing copies of uh, One Piece's uh, manga. I don't know. So they're all in Japanese, obviously. I don't know. Um, so this actually came inside of, I believe the first chapter. Or, sorry, the first volume. Um, let me open it just to show you guys because, you know, I've been trying not to touch this stuff when I got it. But wait, hold on, give me a sec. I just pull it all out. I'm gonna do it off camera just to make sure it's nice and clean and safe. Because this stuff is old, guys. Right, here we go. So, this is from December 24th, I believe. Um, this is old. Look at this, guys. This is a pretty, pretty old little uh, booklet. It's got a, yeah, it's got a, let me uh, not show that too much in here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it came inside, I, I honestly can't remember which one. I thought it was volume one because when I bought volume one, uh, this, this piece that they sent me was came along with it. So, yeah, I think it is volume one, but if anyone knows for sure, just let me know. It's really cool. Um, there's not, you know, it's, it's kind of too small to frame. It's really nice condition. I'm keeping right here. I wish there was, you know, like a nicer way to store it, but right here is where it's going to be. So let's just put it back here for right now. So here we are, guys. I made this buy a while ago. So I bought um, the first printing of Romance Dawn in Japanese, and I bought a full set of the other books. Uh, so let me just try to pull this out as safely as I can. I don't think it's ever gonna be very safely, but let me go off off camera for a moment and let me try to figure it out, because I just kind of grabbed it and pulled it in. All right, so nice and soft. All right put these here I'm gonna take this out of the box um, I, did, I did buy these recently they're pretty cool they're on Amazon if you just look up uh, if you look up five and a half by seven and a half um, like manga sleeves I don't remember exactly the brand I'll try to have it in the uh, on the video so let me go ahead and pull these out real quick I, I did just want to go over them um, Kind of just have like a nice little review of them because i might get these graded with beckett the only well whichever ones look better um i do like the mangas how they look i can obviously can't read them i don't understand japanese it'd be really cool if one day i did but these are first prints so if i ever did and want to i could do later editions um but one of the thought process is like the way they're stored right now and like in this thing it's very sketchy <laughs> and it's not gonna get any better so they're bound to get damaged so yeah, if that makes sense so i'd rather just you know if, if i have any that look really cool uh you know they would look really cool uh post it up um i know grading mangas isn't really like the hottest thing or maybe it is for some people it's especially like high grades because it looks really cool um i know for some they really don't like it but nonetheless, I literally just have these for pretty much um, collection reasons, like just to frame them or to like have them posted up. So this guy, you can see this little bent up. This is not a pretty looking one. It's like this one is one like would probably not even bother degrading. Um, Cause I mean, grading's not cheap. It's like 35 bucks, I think minimum to grade any of these. It's right now this one has like really white pages and all the rest have pretty yellowy old looking ones. So not really sure how that grades. So I kind of just want to do a video here to show off some of the books. 
and then so like if we do get them graded we can look back at this and see how they graded them and this is a little thing they gave me when i bought it so i bought it from a store in japan bought it on ebay so i bought all 10 books from them so this is the best looking copy that i received uh, this one i paid the most for i'm pretty sure i paid as much for this as the other nine together so this was like the best looking one so i'm gonna pull out of here and i'm gonna put it back in take it out pretty carefully cool so here we go um i don't know if you guys have seen the books uh it's pretty decent like it's got a little bit of thing right there that just just the way it is is nothing's gonna get fixed that's the front of it let me go to one times get a little more detail it's oda um the books the pages are very yellowy i'm not sure if that's how they always are but it's crazy if you go to the very back last page so this book was made in 1997 or printed i think this is when they released so december 29 1997 so this book is really old uh, honestly to me looking at it looks like it's in really good condition here uh the last pages are pretty small looking i don't know what happened here or why they're small if you just look they look you can see there's a definite size difference right there again i'm not really sure what any of that means <laughs> but um this is definitely by far the best looking book that i have um so i'm hoping and it's also the, the very first one uh volume one so i'm really hoping you know if any of these get a nice really pretty grade like in the nines it would definitely be this one so i guess we're just gonna see how it looks um let's go ahead and put this in i might have to can i use a new one or is this gonna work yeah it's gonna work fine yeah so it just goes in right there it's pretty snug boom and then right there it's a nice snug book it seems to be pretty safe and also just put it in here to be extra safe and then I might bubble wrap this one too, maybe. But I'm gonna try to bubble wrap all of them. Uh, Becca's gonna be local pretty soon. So that's ideally where I plan to get these graded. I don't wanna ship these. I'm not really sure how I feel about shipping these. I've never shipped books before. So it's definitely very interesting and it's not really uh, something I'm used to. So I feel like it would suck if these look really nice and I get them back and they don't look very nice anymore. That would be a sad, sad story. So here's the other book that I got. Again, nothing was really bad about the first volumes. Um, actually, you can see right there uh, that the top pages are pretty stripped up. But this one has a lot clearer pages. They're not as yellow. Um, I think if you look inside, like it's definitely not as yellow as the other one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice though. It's still, there you go, another first edition. So it was really cool to have two first editions. Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like it might've been like the tape. If they had tape on it or something, I went as ripped right here. That, that is actually pretty unfortunate. Right there is ripped. Um, other than that, though, it's like, I feel like it's not really that bad of a book. So, it's definitely cool. It's definitely the worst one. There's a huge difference in, in um, condition. And then you see the ripped tab right here. Uh, like, little, very thin, like, shallow, like, gash right there. Other than that, also it has like the back pages are pretty small, but there's nothing really too much worse about this one, but it's definitely significantly worse. So, they're really cool. Um, you know, I read everything virtual. Everything I do is on like Shonen app or like this media app. I do those, so it's, you know, it's pretty cool. I've never actually been a physical manga reader. Um, Oh, got my low battery mode coming up. Never been a, a physical manga reader. Um, but I did just buy a couple for like Black Clover because that's my that's my show right now, guys. I'm telling you, it's my show. Um, so I'll just I'll try to be quick about this. I'm not gonna seal all these up. I'm just gonna seal up the first two, and then we'll go. We'll just look through the rest. So here's Blue Volume Two. Oh, uh, Buggy. This one actually looks really pretty. Oh, I lied. Look at that. <laughs> It was pretty, I should say. Um, again, go to the back, see that it's first edition. So this came out in 98, April 8th, 1998. I mean, still not terrible looking. It does have that issue right there. 
Uh, that's kind of like a maybe one. It is volume two though, so it is one of the first volumes. Like here we go, we have volume three with Zoro. Really cool cover. Um, I would say the book doesn't really look too bad. There's something right there. Other than that, like this is actually a pretty nice looking book. It probably could be like flattened or something if that's even possible. Right here, uh, it looks like there's some sort of like waviness to it. Probably because it hasn't been opened up in like 75 million years. So yeah, there's some sort of thing there. I'll see maybe if I can just put some books on it, it'll weigh it out. So yeah, this is uh, June 9th, um, 19, I, I did not do that the hard guys, don't worry. I got a nice little table here, just kind of pushed it down a little bit. Um, yeah, it does have like, it feels like it's like, you know, you crack your back for the first time in a while. Oh my gosh, guys, this thing is stiff. Yeah, I think it's like this guy hasn't had his crack back cracked in like 45 years. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like that's what he's feeling right now. Maybe I'll do a little, little back cracking. So yeah, these books obviously aren't in perfect condition. Um, these were bought very cheap along with the others. This one actually looks really good. Four. Pretty decent looking pages. Very white. Um, again, maybe some little issues right there. But other than that, it looks pretty decent. I don't really see anything too wrong with this one. Um, so that's page four. Sorry, volume four. And we have volume five. This one, unfortunately, looks pretty cooked. I wanna say cooked. I would say it's not the prettiest looking one. Yeah, the top's a little cooked right there. So this is the first time we see Nami. That's pretty cute. And yeah, so nice. We're still in 1998. So these are all in 1998 still. So that's pretty, pretty awesome right here. Yeah, so we get this off in here. Yeah. Check, I thought this one, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I thought Usopp was in this one. I thought I was confused. I had a feeling Usopp was here. Okay. I, that was like, I thought that was where Usopp came from. But yeah, nice Usopp cover with Zoro and Nami. It's a really cool cover. Really fun one. Um, you know, a lot of the art is really beautiful, but this one, this has to be one of the favorites. This is just a nice art. Actually, luckily, this book isn't terrible. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible. <laughs> um, again, so, oh, it's still 1998. So December 1998. It's really crazy how much detail there is in these. And, you know, I feel like the manga is that I read now. You know, on the, the weekly basis or whatever, they're, you know, they're not, they don't have this link to it. So it's really cool having these really fan of this cover. It's probably one of my favorite ones that they have. Alongside like they're obviously the OG and the buggies. So we have number what is this number six? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It should be seven I believe. Um actually this one's pretty decent looking too. This one's really nice actually. It kinda sucks because like I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna do, you know like only a few of them or like some of them do not look good <laughs> so and then here's number eight number eight right there again this one looks pretty decent nothing huge going on Ooh, that could have been a problem number eight right here really actually nice looking book right here for number eight and then we have number nine, so a really nice cover with Nami. Uh, this book is pretty not okay. This thing's got some issues going on. I think I remember what was going on in this page. Yeah, it just has, it's just not straight for some reason. There's something going on there. It's just not straight. It's got, it's got some waves. So it must've had some water damage right there. So I don't really think there's a way to fix it. It's kind of just the way it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, that water damage right there, that's just cooked. But still, it's a really cool looking book. The cover on this one is probably one of my favorites. Especially as I do play Nami with the MTCG. So it's really cool, you know, we got all the books here. Um, we're gonna put them all in the little sleeves. And we're just gonna, you know, might grade a few of them. Maybe just grade the, the first prints. And maybe the other ones are like really nice looking. Because it is expensive. You know, I don't want to pay, I think it would be like $400 to grade all these. And that that's... That's a lot of money. Um, it is cool. They're all first editions, our first prints. 
but yeah it's really cool i hope you guys enjoy it i'm glad that you guys can come here and see you know these things that i picked up I, um so let me show you something real quick so i was just over in italy and one of my things that i've been doing is i've been there before last time i went i usually try to buy a manga in italy even though i can't read it um it's still cool you know to have a show that i like or a manga that i like so i bought some black clover bought volume one and two of black clover uh funny thing is this was in my bag with my food and the food opened up it was like a really nice looking pasta that was sealed um and it opened up i got back to my place and i looked down and i just see a whole bunch of red i'm like what is going on and this thing was covered in salsa salsa or sauce and uh, cleaned up as best i could i was not gonna buy another one i was like that's oh, a memory <laughs> and then i went to go buy another one and i found these black clover ones and oh i forgot and then i bought a italian uh, romance dawn and funny thing is i went to buy a um jojo part five that's my favorite part or one of my favorite parts uh, after part two because that's you know in italy but the cover they had was like this big um i'm pretty sure there's other covers to it um i don't know like you know which ones they had they have a whole bunch of small stores but i was like if i got if i get one it's got to be you know the one with jordan on it so i ended up not buying it unfortunately but yeah thank you guys for watching um hopefully we'll have a pretty soonish return video probably gonna be in a few months honestly it's gonna take a while but hope you guys enjoy this is definitely different than my cards and other things that i've been posting but i appreciate you guys for watching um if you like this kind of content just kind of showing across a whole bunch of weird things that i collect uh yeah i'll do some more of it and appreciate you guys for watching see you